Open Book. And this is my special guest for this week, Miss Michelle Pebbles Caldwell. How you doing, Michelle? What's happening? I'm good. How are you, babe? Uh, just, just producing, just doing some stuff with Envy, you know, doing other stuff with author, other authors and stuff like that. But today, a lot of y'all don't know, some of the pictures you guys saw in the beginning of the intro of the show, this lady right here, this the lady right here. Um, I want you to tell, you know, the, our viewers that, you know, your level of professionalism and how you got started. And, you know, they don't think you shot that. They don't think that's you. They don't think you did that. Oh, it's me. Um... Basically, what I was doing is I would, it started out as a hobby. I would go to different concerts in Baltimore City, um, DC, Columbia areas, and I would do different concerts as a hobby to take pictures. And at one point, um, Chief Rocker Busy B was the first person that I came in contact with that actually saw my photos and I was taking the pictures for an 80s party that he was actually hosting. So basically after that, um, I would just take what I had and just- Wait, 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 you said he was doing an 80s party? Yeah, he was on an 80s party. It was my first 80s party in my life. What year was this? This was 2010. Now, now everybody doing the 70s. <laughs> yeah. Now here we yeah. doing the 80s. Yes. Chief Rocker busy yes. keeps <laughs> doing his thing. Yes, and what we did was um, we had when I had done the pictures, he was actually in the audience behind me. And I was looking like, well, who is this? You know, he's standing behind me. And I was just constantly taking pictures. And he said, you have an eye, I like that, I like that. And I was like, okay, thank you. And once I was taking the pictures, um, I recall it was Special Ed, Rakim. Oh, that's um, a lot, that's oh, a lot goodness, it, was, it was awesome. Um, it was like a lot of different other people. So when I was there, I was taking pictures. I had gotten, um, it, and other, um, you know, artists, MCs, pioneers. the pioneers. It was should have been called a pioneers. It should party. have been a, right. It really should have been. It was um, even people that were MCs, like you know, just different, ju just different eras. Does he be? Um, yes, all him. And um, did he have Kumo D? There? I knew everybody watched this. Yes. Wow. Yes. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, we were. I think it was it was Chub Rock or somebody. It was yeah. just every. It was everybody there it was so many people and and i'm looking like okay i'm born in 1974 so i'm trying to figure out why am i at an 80s party but i understood when i got there i know where the adidas sweatsuit ever came from awesome puma, the puma awesome sweats. puma sweatsuits awesome everyone i mean they had people from different areas that were just there um rock city once, crew everything and i'm talking oh, about people man. was in the middle of the floor they was rocking and all I just kept on saying is people really break dance and you know things like that. So it was just one of those things. Um, with that, you know, being like a stepping stone for me, um, we were at Sonar when Sonar was actually an operating place, and we were there. And then after that, I just started like taking everything into, you know, perspective. Okay, this is something that I might want to do. So. After that, I just constantly did what I had to do, did what I had to do, and to bring it up a little bit, when I started doing pictures, and I was going to the first Mariner Arena, which used to be the Civic Center, mm -hmm. and you know, places like that, I just did my thing. I was like, okay, I didn't like front row at first. I didn't like it. I was like, I don't want to be pushed. I don't want to be smushed. I, don't, I didn't want all of that. But then after that, it was like, okay, get where you need to get to so that you can take these pictures. Then I started meeting people. And then it became a thing where, oh, I took a picture of you, I want you to see it. So then that became the big thing to where I am now, where I have pictures with and of a lot of people, hip hop, R&B, you name it, just everything. Um, a lot of y'all don't know, she did it with this. <laughs> she did it with this, y'all see it? That camera. A Kodak wide angle, uh, 12 megapixels. And a lot of y'all, I'm explaining something to you. A lot of you guys are looking at the photos that are posted and being posted right now and wondering, did she Photoshop? Oh, we don't do Photoshop. Um, I hate to say it. Um, I know this is a touchy subject for some people, but Photoshopping to me, you cannot be called a photographer if you just Photoshop pictures. 
the purpose to me as far as becoming a photographer i wanted to be able to shoot natural backgrounds normal people people that are in the industry dogs cats animals of all kinds birds it didn't matter i just don't like photoshop sometimes photoshop is cool but in other terms to me i just don't see it um I don't knock anyone who does, but in my I opinion, do. I do. <laughs> in my opinion, I, do. I'm I, just, <laughs> I just don't like it. Like, I just don't like it. I, I feel as though the pictures that I'm sure that you are looking at or that you've seen, the beginning, the middle, and the end, it's more so I've taken these pictures, I haven't done anything to them, but point and shoot that camera, and that's it. So, in my opinion, I feel as though before you become a Photoshop, professional you need to become a photographer in the professional way start natural and that's my opinion i mean that that's my thing with photoshop and it's killing me everything i've seen is photoshop but when i when i showed someone in miami a picture he was like i think i've seen that before you didn't see my work before because i don't sell them i keep them and once again it was a hobby so it's not something that i want to do and you know at and when i came into it that's not something that i felt like okay that i was going to do but now as i critique myself i know that this is something that i'm doing something that i'm going to do and something that i want to do so that's how i've made my way into meeting different people um and things like that i'm not a groupie i'm not an old woman being a cougar i'm being me i take pictures and everything and I do it because it's your professionalism the way you present yourself I need to say this the way that you present yourself with the camera is the way that they're going to accept you tell us you know, some of the stories you know how I you know like you told me earlier about uh, how you took a picture with Snoop and every I will say this you know how yes. they say a picture says a thousand words well her pictures have, have a story for every one of them so and we're working on that. We're working on something like that to get her, you know, to turn her photo album into an actual book and her experience as a photographer. But for an example, tell us about Snoop. Tell us how that came about. Okay. Ironically, I was at um, the first Marina Arena, and it was a Jay Z concert. I left that concert. I knew that Snoop Dogg was going to be at Rams Head Live. So what I did was I had tickets for both. I went to see Snoop Dogg. I met Snoop Dogg, Lady of Rage, Corrupt everyone that was there um when i met snoop dogg the way i met him is because when i came out um of the show i went the way that i knew that he would be and everyone was outside as far as his staff and everyone and basically he one guy noticed me standing there he was like well, what are you standing here for are you okay you know it's raining i said because i want a picture of snoop dogg and i know he's going to come out this door and he started laughing he was like are you serious i said i'm really serious and to make a long story short i wound up holding an umbrella which was strange because it was really raining i didn't have one i didn't care i have hair so it was more so okay hold this umbrella for somebody and i was holding the door i saw snoop dogg and he was coming through with his entourage. He doesn't have what we would consider regular security. He has men in suits. That was really, really Muslim. awesome. Yes, awesome. All Muslims. Fruit of All Islam. Muslims. They are very studious. They they don't play. What happened was I came to ask him. I said um, I asked his manager. I didn't know who his manager was, but this guy was at the door and he said, "How are you?" I said, "I'm fine. I'm just holding on, bro." And he was like, "Well, come on in." I got in. I walked up to Snoop Dogg, he was conducting business after he finished. I was speaking to him and I was like, I just want to know if I can get a picture of you. He said, you can get a picture with me. I said, oh, I'm in there. I gave someone, still don't know who it is to this day, the camera. I said, baby, point and shoot. That's all you need to do. I point, they did the picture and I was like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, what's your name? My name's Michelle. And that was that. Um, Method Man and Red Man, awesome. Every, let me say something. Oh Everybody my on Facebook. <laughs> yes. All, yes. I mean, I'm not not. I'm first of all, I'm not a Facebook person. But this is how I met Miss Michelle, by the way. But I've read, I've seen some of her work, and people always say, "Well, how did you get picture of Red? How did you get picture?" You that know? was the the best part about Red Man and Method Man is they're people. People, they're not strong around. They're not around security. Um, they will walk Baltimore City streets basically by themselves they're not afraid they're always here um 
the way I met Method Man the first time with Red Man, again, I was at Ram's Head Live. I knew that they were going to be in and out this door. And what I did was, again, I just wound up back there. And I was standing there, and he came out the door, and I said, excuse me. I said, Meth, I said, can I get a picture of you? He was like, come on, come on, take the picture. And then he, you know, embraced it. Like, he was standing there. He was like, you want to get in the picture? I'm like, I'm in the picture. So, again, someone, God help me. I gave them my camera. I said, point and shoot. My camera's always ready. That's part of being a photographer. You always have to be ready. I don't care if you're going to the bus stop. Have a camera. Be ready. You know, I'm telling the truth. And that's the way that I feel. And, and that's, like, the passion that I have. So, when I met Method Man, um, I actually spoke to him you know and we were taking pictures and people out there didn't have cameras and you know i took the pictures for them gave them my information and i let them have the pictures mm. um because i feel like once you have a once in a lifetime opportunity sometimes you don't get it again so you have to embrace what you have at that moment and take it for what it's worth and that's what i did method man and red man always comes in the in the, in the winter months so i saw them again i was at that was actually my second time when I met them. I made a mistake at Ramsey Live. The first time I met them was at Sonar. Chief Rocker Busy B. Hey, Michelle, where your camera? <laughs> Serious. I'm talking that's, about that's this man, man is everywhere. And that day, it was the best show that I had ever seen because as sure as I'm 38 years old, I had never seen Red Man and Method Man live before that day. So it was like, oh, yeah, I'm in the front. And it was just one of those things for me. What I did was I, I met him backstage. my first that was my first time um when i met them um i was actually backstage um with busy b because he had noticed me from the last from the 80s party <laughs> and i was like oh boy i said this is my opportunity i'm going to get pictures of these guys no matter what um and once busy saw me he was like come here she got a camera i know she got a camera come on take these pictures <laughs> i mean it was like just that's his that's the way he is and he said i know you have a camera i said yeah i do i said how you been so you know we were talking i started taking pictures and everything like that of them backstage and then i wound up taking a picture with meth okay method man embraced it he's awesome i will always say that about method man red man it is a known fact he like big girls and he will yeah. tell you he will yeah. tell you if you are not big enough yeah. but he is awesome like he's real like when yeah. i saw mtv crits and he was up there fiddling with the, the the doorbell to make it chime or whatever i believe that was the truth because he's just that real um you know they, they're awesome always um the the most recent time that i saw method man i call him my brother from another mother um he's one of those people again him and his team they're awesome um i met them they were actually coming in to do a show and i wound up on a tour bus mm. um i have a friend named Vinny, and he's from brooklyn and he loves them like pioneers he's into stuff like that so you know i said okay well Vinny, i'm gonna get you a picture with matt he was like how you gonna do that i said watch me because i'm me and that's the way i feel i'm me and that's all that I got is me. That's you know, when it comes down to this pictures, it's me and the camera. So I um, got in touch with Meth and I said, Meth, I got somebody that want to take a picture with you. And I'm telling you, the last time you were here, his camera was BS. He should have had me, but he didn't. So I want to do this picture. He said, where you at? Came up, gave him some love. I mean, took pictures with him on the tour bus. And, you know, that was the last time I saw them, which has not even been a year ago. But, you know, now, you know, I was back on the stroll again. I just did a lot of other pictures for different artists. You know, I'm a front row queen now. I I, I don't know nothing else. So, okay. I support. Uh, you, have some, you have some very interesting photos of Erica Badu. Oh, yeah. I just took those. Well, she's a very interesting woman for that yeah, matter. Yeah, she is. Very phenomenal. Yeah. Very, I'm, I'm one of her. I'm a huge fan of her work. But I must say that that outfit she was rocking. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's, fucking it's, hold on. That's fucking yeah, it, hey, it's Erica. Um, it's it's one of her show. Um, it was actually a it was a summer 
event that they were having at it was a summer fest at the Meriwether Post Pavilion. Oh, okay. And um, unfortunately, Chuck Brown passed away before yeah. they actually had that event, but they did an awesome tribute to him. Um, Sugar Bear was there. Everybody, EU, everybody was physically there to, to, you know, to just show their love and support to his daughter and his family and his legacy. So um, they did an awesome tribute for him. Um, also, like the pictures with Erica, I had never seen Erica Badu live. So again, that was an opportunity that was really awesome for me. I was front row, meaning center. I was front row center, and I would have not. I would not give that up for the world. Like that was that was something that I really liked. And yes, she's a little out there, but she's herself. I love her personality. She That's doesn't Erica. change for anybody. I'm talking about when she That's wanted to give somebody the middle finger, she was That's doing it in the show. I love her. Um, but you know, as far as Erica's concerned, she sounds like herself. She spoke about, you know, her kids, you know, in her songs and things like that, you know. So that was that was a really good look for me. Uh, you got pictures of uh, my man Common. Oh God, that's my husband. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Dirty. sorry. Uh, Common. This is the second time that I've met Common. Um, Common was at Sonar and Chief Rocker Busy B. That's my <laughs> He's everywhere. Um, I was there at a show with him, and I actually worked there. I did security for them for a moment um, at Sonar, and what happened was. He was like, can you do me a favor? Make sure no one goes in this room. It looked like a big black wall. I didn't know what it was. So I was obedient. Sure, I'll stand here. You you busy be. I stood there. Common came out. Lo and behold, I had my camera. I gave his road manager the camera. I said, no disrespect, but I need you to take this picture. And I know it's not your job, but I, I need this picture. So what I did was I took the picture with Common and I said, thank you. He was like, no problem, ma another down-to-earth person if there is no one as real as these brothers from the 80s 90s era it's them i really i love them word is born, you know, born and, is I, and i mean that as we're saying word is born born is life and you know and that's how they do yes as a professional photographer you're gonna have your, your great moments, but then there's some of your not so great moments. You know, I, I, as a photographer, videographer, cinematographer myself, I, I've dealt with people like that all the time. I dealt with clients, I dealt with uh, celebrities to that, uh, you know, and you have some people that are just I don't even know how to explain it. I, just, can, can I say? Yes, ma'am. I feel as though there are some people that are very wealthy, and I respect that. I don't knock a person that's doing their thing, but there's a situation where if you see someone that has paid money to see you, and that's the reason, part of the reason why you're on that stage and you're making your money, please, by all means, America, do not sit here and think that Michelle is going to give you their camera, her camera, to take so Beyonce can see your pictures. And I'm sorry to put it out there, but that's something that I've encountered where someone of the security team that was hired in Baltimore stated to me, I hope you're not, you don't think you're gonna use your credentials to get back here. No, I walked. And where were you when I was walking past everything where I wasn't supposed to be? So, and I mean, I'm, I'm, I keep it 100. I'm grown, I'm real, I don't, I don't have time to argue, but that's just the way it was at that time. So um, I saw some women that were her backup singers and things like that on the tour bus because I got to their tour buses before I got to her. And they were saying like, oh, well, you know, if she's here, you know, you're not going to be able to get to her respectfully. So, but I showed them the pictures and they were like, oh, my goodness, these are some really nice pictures. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, at least someone acknowledged it. And then I saw her designer i guess he was her designer or her you know her person that actually gets her clothing and stuff together um he saw my pictures and he was like oh this is awesome how did you catch her when she was in the air i mean so you know that gratification of knowing someone saw those pictures that was cool with me that was at first i was kind of like what do you think i'm gonna do to her but you do have some people that are a little bit 
too rambunctious when it comes down to meeting people. I'm not a starstruck person. I don't care who you are. I want to know about you. I don't want to know about your money. I don't care about nothing. You know, as far as your stardom, I just support. And that's something that a lot of people don't do. And I'm not going to limit it to one area, one city, one state, one nation. It's just that's something that some some people don't do. Yeah, because you have, you have some very interesting shots of Beyonce. Awesome I mean, pictures. Got, once again, done with this camera. This camera. You know, I mean, it, it, it's 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 amazing. I, I I'm, I'm just happy so many people really appreciate your work. You know, and did you go to school for it? No, I taught myself. I taught myself. Um, some things, and I will say this, and I know I'm going to be criticized, but some things cannot be taught. It's like life when you have to walk, when you have to learn how to ride a bike, when you have to raise your kids. Some things you cannot always do with instruction. So, mm. you know, that's that's the way that I feel. I've taken my pictures. I've had situations where, you know, people have come into my home and they see all these pictures on the wall and they're like, oh my God, where you buy that at? Where did I buy it? This camera is not bought to be sold and all of that. I, buy, I do my pictures. I make sure that they're what I want. And I look for certain things when I'm looking, you know, at the show, enjoying it, as well as taking my pictures. Because I feel like a picture lasts a lifetime. I tell people that a lot. So, you know, a photo lasts longer or what have you. So that's what I do. Quick list. Well, not a quick list, but you know, a nice little, you know, rundown. Okay, I've taken pictures of Beyonce, Jay Z, Mary J. Blige, Estelle, Common, Miguel, um, Rakim, the God MC. Amen. Um, let me see. Bone Thugs and Oh, Harmony. yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Anthony Hamilton, uh, Jennifer Hudson. Really? Yes. Jennifer? When she was pregnant, no one in the world knew. Yes. Who else did you catch a photo of before? Alicia Keys. And yeah. I said she was <laughs> pregnant. I said it. Right here first. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I said it. Um, also, I've taken pictures of Robin Thicke, um, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Drake, Birdman. <laughs> I've taken pictures of an enormous amount of people um a lot of them a lot of them life jennings awesome awesome really? guy awesome um i met him in person awesome again okay, at I sonar am. i met him at sonar um i was there and he just so happened to be doing a signing and he was raising hiv awareness oh, okay and basically it was like um you know he was doing cds for that purpose and he was speaking about it so what I had done was I saw him at a vendor's table and I said, excuse me, can I take a picture of you? He said, you can take a picture with me. Once again, old faithful, I had my <laughs> camera, I gave it to somebody <laughs> and I was like, take this picture. All you got to do is point and shoot. I know it's dark, but my camera's good. And that is how that came about. I got his autograph. I got all kinds of things. Um, I met Jay Holiday, took a picture of him. He was at Ram's Head Live. And that was the very first time I ever saw Trey songs um, as well. And this is when he had cornrows in his hair. But um, I met Jay Holiday, and ironically, once again, we were all in the line. We were going to take pictures, and I would always move to the back, to the back, to the back, because there were people there that didn't have a camera. And I can't stand when people, God forgive me for going to this again, I do not like people that use cell phones when they have somebody with a camera behind them to take a picture. I just don't see the quality of that. But sometimes people do what they have to do. They use it for different reasons. Me personally, I would stand in the back, go to the back, go to the back. I'm like, do you want me to take this picture? You know, and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, Jay Holiday made mention of it like, you waited till like 50, 60 people, you know, took pictures with me and you were the one behind the camera. You want to get this picture? I said, I know I am. I said, but it's all about respect. If I have a camera and they don't and they want to give me their information and I give them mine, then we can do this. It's not a problem. It's a picture. I don't, you know, it's, it's a picture. That's how you show love. That's what you're supposed to do. And some people will be like, oh, well, sorry for you. I had that situation where when, again, when Jay Holiday said, oh, well, what if I would have left? I said, well, I would have gotten your picture. You wouldn't have left. 
I'm just one of those determined black women that I feel as though I'm going to get what I want. And it's just not, I don't have to groupie myself to do so. Again. Say it again. Because that's important. You do not <laughs> have to groupie yourself to get where you want to go in this business. Period. I don't care if you want to sing, you want to dance, you want to model, you want to serve a drink, you want a picture, whatever. I'm living proof. I've never had to do that. I will never do it. I have daughters. I have sons. That's just the bottom line. So that that's just the way I feel about it. One more time, because I don't think they're really feeling that. Do not groupie <laughs> yourself under any means, by any means necessary, to get where you need to be. Utilize what you have, present it professionally, and you will get further. Trust me. She she had a day, ain't she? I, I, point taken. This you're just a regular. You, you are a regular fan. I am. <laughs> I'm a fan. I, that that's it. But a lot of y'all don't know. You know, if you go to some of the shows, she she actually makes the show now. Like what happened when you'll uh, see me. O M G. <laughs> I hate to put. <laughs> hold on, I'm hold not on. even going. Let's talk about uh have you ever been uh uh criticized or teased yeah because my pictures was better than theirs really yeah How um a radio personality and i we were at the same show um respectfully before k swift lost her life and um yeah i heard about that yeah that, that was a couple of years ago yeah she she lost yeah. her life um that was like devastating to me yeah. and you know everybody else that was at constant concerts and things like that because I had just you know taken pictures of her yeah. and um Kelsey this is right before I left cute. to go to Atlanta yeah and she, she passed she, away she lost her life and um it's just like things like that that people didn't really you know we we learn in Baltimore City to appreciate club music because that's right originally that's where it came that's from right. she was an intern that turned into like the biggest club queen in Baltimore City so you know it's it's more so she was on to doing bigger things and mm -hmm. she lost her life yeah. um baltimore club music yeah that, that that's, that's her she started that's it. her yeah. and um along the way um again i was doing pictures i was at the first man arena and i was doing pictures and i do not recall the concert but i do recall being called miss paparazzi and i said okay well the difference between me and a paparazzi is i do not just go into someone's face and start flashing cameras to me that's disrespectful sometimes you have to pick your time and you know you 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 pick your poison so to speak you either are going to be allowed to take the picture or you're going to be not allowed to take the picture and there's some things you have to respect um i do want to speak about when i met neo um mm. he was at a concert at the lyric opera house in baltimore and he was with Jasmine Sullivan when she first came out with um, a Bust the Window Out Your Car song. Oh. And um, oh, boy. the show was awesome. It was beautiful. It was absolutely everything that I paid my money to see. And then the letdown came. No one was outside but me, my sister, and another woman. No one was making noise. Nobody was screaming, hooping, and hollering. And the next thing you know, I said to Neo, I said, is there any way that I can have a picture of you? He said, um, not right now. Something about he couldn't talk or something. I'm like, well, close your mouth. You know, that's the way I felt. But sometimes you have to take that because mm -hmm. you have to take it to consideration. He might not have felt well. He might have been tired. He might have been pressed for time. God only knows what it was. I never, ex I never, you know, understood it. But then after a while, I was like, okay, that's something that I have to look at as I'm not in the in the life of the rich and famous and if i don't have millions then i don't deserve that right i have to earn it so that's what i'm doing mm -hmm. um i'm not putting him down i think he's an awesome artist and that was just something that i just felt at that time like okay but it was three of us outside i couldn't even i couldn't even digest why he wouldn't just stand there and let me take a picture but again you don't know what someone's going through you don't know their mood at that time and that's some things that you have to respect the other person not my sister but someone else that we did not know oh you this you that you can't do that and get mad at this man this is why some people don't come to baltimore you know it's ignorance is high here but it just depends on how you deal with it again professionalism is everything and i could just really leave it at that okay I respect what well, we all respect it. Me as yeah, a videographer, yeah. photographer myself, we all respect that. And uh, you know, 
And that goes back to about standards, you know. Mm -hmm. there, there, there's a certain standard that you must maintain, you know. Absolutely. You have people who, you know, I mean, I like the fact that you said, and I never looked at it as paparazzi just walk up to you. And they flash the camera. And, and, and they do. And I think that's so rude. You don't, they'll take you, they'll take a picture of you eating. Knowing you a big person or something, and they're like, oh, look at this picture. Yeah, you know why? You know why I never looked there like that? Because I've always been on sets all the time. Right. So I never, I never thought about it, it being intrusive like that. Because, right, because I, I, once again, as a professional, you're this there. You're this. Your job is just okay. Take the footage or whatever. Right. But you know, I, I've never thought about it. That, that's great. I'm that's the way it is, and I and I have to explain to people that are not in my profession right now where they're just fans and they're like well i would have just took the picture you can't do that all the time sometimes that's not acceptable within yourself as a human being you put yourself in their position would you want to take a picture of your hair as we call it in baltimore furred no i will not do it i'm sorry i don't care i just won't do it but when snoop dogg was in rams head live my hair was wet and flat as my hair is now had no curls and i was in there with a louis vuitton book bag on my back and someone took the picture i could care less because he's west coast we're east coast so you may not see him for another couple years so i had to embrace what i had which was the opportunity so you know i, I just look at things like that it's called ask i need to speak about when i met music soul child i know this oh, you know okay. i met music um, I'm tell their brother. Music is awesome and underrated. I will say that again just as well as Anthony Hamilton. These guys are awesome. I've been in plenty of their shows. And I mean, Anthony Hamilton had a broken foot. I'm going to get back to music. But Anthony Hamilton had a broken foot. And he came to that great where, you know, the gate where mm -hmm. people couldn't go past because the tour buses was there. Mm -hmm. And he took pictures with everybody that was standing there. Once again, I'm the only one with a camera to take pictures at night. I don't do box cameras. Sorry for you. Grow into the digital world. Whatever. I'm sorry. I'm on. I'm on it. So, you know, that's what I do. That's what I do. I don't play. And what I did was I was taking pictures. My sister, Diane, if she was here, she'll tell you. I had a picture of her and Anthony Hamilton. It was some lady and her man. They were in a picture with Anthony Hamilton. The guy, mind you, I never said me and Anthony yet. Right. Next thing you know, it was another person. Um, it was a lady's boyfriend. He wanted a picture with Anthony Hamilton by himself. Ironically, they looked like they could pass for brothers. And then it was me. I took my picture. I said, thank you. I appreciate you. And then I had the conversation with him, Anthony Hamilton, that I want to do pictures. I don't care if I just have to travel and freelance and show you what I can do because I feel as though just as well as you you took the time out of your busy schedule to come over here, speak to your fans, and you know greet them and take pictures with them. He didn't have to do it. He was on crutches, literally. And what he did was he said, I don't do cards. Business cards, no, give me a piece of paper. I just bust out laughing because I was like, here you go. You know, because it was more so he wanted my information and I showed him what I could do. Again, professionalism get you places. I have to say that. So, you know, with that, you know, with Anthony Hamilton, that was just an awesome experience for me. And I've seen him many more times after that. Back to Music Soul Child. He was going to the bank. I lied to y'all not. He was going to the bank. And we were at Ram's Head Live. I stood at the door. I knew he was coming out. And lo and behold, his, his uh, road manager, I said, how you doing? Music came out the door and said, hi. It was me, my sister, Nisi, and Diane. My sister's from Texas. She's in Texas. She said, girl, don't do that. I said, watch me work. Excuse y'all. And I'm the baby. I'm the baby. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me work this real quick. I said, excuse me. I said, I understand that it looked like you're back and forth. And I know that it's not time for your show yet. But is there any way I can get a picture of you? God is my witness. This is the same camera. I had it on my shoulder like this, turned on, ready to point and shoot. I get my picture. He said, sure. He said, you have a camera? I said, right here. My sisters was like, well, we want pictures. I said, I got you. Sure as my name is what it is, his manager, I'm not going to knock this man because business is business. And I had to accept this. He was like, well, you can't take the picture right now. You have to go. That's how I knew they were going to the bank. I said, okay, you know what music said to me? And I'm sure if he see this, he would, he would tell you if he remember. He said to me, if you're going to be right here, I'll be right, right back. I'll be right, right back. I'm going to get this picture. You are going to get your picture. I said, not a problem. If not, I'll be in the front row. 
and you're gonna see me. And sure as my name is what it is, they start calling numbers because in Rams Hit Live, when you go through the Rockstar entrance, for those who don't know, it's awesome. You go in there and you get numbers. I was never under number one, two, or three, and I knew I was in the front row. So what I did was I stood in the front row. After the show, I met one of his drummers, and his name was Brandon. And he's he's no longer with music because he's progressed, so to speak. So, you know, he gave me his drumstick, and he was like, I'm going to tell you right now, he's going to come out here because he's a down-to-earth brother. He's one of those real people. He's not surrounded by so many people that he can't think for himself. And that's what I loved about him. When I met music, guess what music did? Everybody was getting the pictures done of him. He said, excuse me, no. And the, and the manager was like, well, we ready to go. He said, no. Um, I promised her a picture earlier, and she's going to get it. I have this picture. It's me, my two sisters, and Music Soul Child. That was like the best moment ever for me. And again, I'm not a groupie. I didn't have to go, That's you know, buy some chicken, you know, <laughs> go, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just, you know, different things. So it was more so, again, professionalism. And he remembered that. He, I mean, I could have grabbed him like, music. I didn't do that. I was just like, you're awesome. I love you. You know, I think that you have extreme talent where I know that we recognize it and every time he comes here he has an awesome 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 turnout for his shows 